Hey everyone, Matt Wade here, and Microsoft Lists just dropped into my Office 365 tenant, so let's dive in for a bit. All right, so a little background. Microsoft Lists was announced as the newest app to be for Office 365, and I have to say, after doing some playing and some testing, it's a fantastic experience uh, for managing lists and tasks. Now, Lists is marketed as a new app in Office 365, but uh, in reality, it's simply a rebranding and major update to the humble SharePoint list. Lists provide a truly modern experience for SharePoint lists, uh, much, much more modern than the uh, earlier modern experience that rolled out with SharePoint Online a few years ago. And it really helps Office 365 compete with tracking and tasking apps, uh, you know, like Rike, Asana, and some of the other tools that manage item listings. Now, you could say that Microsoft is trying to keep its users from going off and, you know, purchasing licenses to other apps, uh, maybe, but it's, it's also Microsoft making sure you have a similar feature set and user experience with Office 365 itself, you know, in its safe, secure, and, uh, you know, under one umbrella. Uh, also, it's, it's no added cost, so it's a real benefit there. So, Lists basically centralizes the list experience in the way that SharePoint Home brings all of their favorite and recent sites into one page. So the page designs are actually very similar. Um, you'll see a list of recent and favorite lists displayed prominently. The view is unique and personal to you. Now to create a list, you're going to jump into lists from your Office 365 waffle. And from there, you're in what's called the lists home. Lists actually continue to live in SharePoint uh, for site-based lists. And well, new to this experience, OneDrive for business for any personal list that you might create. The lists home simply brings everything together into one place. Incidentally, this makes the roadmap items associated with lists uh, much less confusing, uh, at least to me. The original roadmap item wasn't launch of Microsoft lists, but launch of Microsoft lists home. Uh, well, you know, now we know why. The concept of a list isn't new. Uh, the new prettier user experience, which would have rolled out as an upgrade regardless, but lists home is what's actually new to us. So as you create your first list, you'll notice that Microsoft provided a bunch of templates big, big benefit. Uh, each template has somewhat standard columns that you won't have to create as part of your list, which is pretty nice. Uh, in the preview, lists are actually populated, but that content doesn't actually come over when you create the list, kind of unfortunately. Uh, the other major thing not to miss is where to save your list. A list can be saved in any SharePoint site where you have member access at least, or you can save it as a personal list, uh, which just stores it in your OneDrive for business. So your new list pops up in a full screen mode, uh, which can make editing easier. If you look at the URL of your list, you'll actually see where it's stored and note the uh, web list view code at the end of the URL. That's actually what makes it full screen, uh, but you can see your list just as a regular uh, list experience within SharePoint still, although with this still pretty UI. You'll notice the standard SharePoint list toolbar and that lets you add any individual item, quick edit, and then bring in the power platform if you want. Personally, I've always been a fan of the alerts, which I'm really glad is retained. Once you've populated your list, you'll be able to view it in its site. So go to the site's homepage and you should see the list in the quick launch. You can also remove it from the quick launch if you want. Uh, and you can add it to your SharePoint page, you know, just as a standard list web part. Uh, it really looks slick if you ask me. Now, another big win for lists is its built-in integration with Microsoft Teams. You can add your list as a tab to your team channel so you can have quick access to all the same information, you know, whether you're using lists or SharePoint uh, or Teams. Now, managing a list is pretty much the same experience it always has been, so I'm not going to go into a deep dive too much into managing that list. Uh, I will say some modern sprucing up of the list settings uh, experience would be a welcome change, but uh, we'll see what happens there. So what do I think? Well, list is a great UI update to an area of SharePoint that really hasn't gotten as much love as say like the files experience has in the last few years. And that's sort of justified when you think about it. You know, SharePoint is the file handler for Microsoft Teams and you know, Teams has seen exponential growth, especially as a result of all the new workers from home during the COVID pandemic. And the priority really has been on making Teams as useful and intuitive as possible. So the new UI plus the templates for lists, in my opinion, really constitutes lists main selling points. So if you look at the major competitors in the field uh, for tracking task and list management, uh, again, look at, you know, Rike, Monday.com, Asana, Microsoft lists is finally jabbing at their pleasant, clean and modern new eyes in a way that it, that Office 365 just really couldn't before. Uh, but if you have spent any time building SharePoint lists, uh, you'd know you have had this power to create, well, almost anything you wanted from, you know, years ago. So those apps really can't do that. And SharePoint always could. 
So the upgrade here is more about happy end users than really functionality. And that has a lot of value, don't get me, don't get me wrong there. Uh, I think that's a major win, especially for adoption and for getting uh, the most uh, use and productivity and efficiency and value out of Office 365. Now, one drawback I've noticed is that you can still create lists in a SharePoint site and it won't come through under the new UI. Uh, I'm not sure if that's something uh, that'll get updated when list is released to the masses. It could very well, if not, it could definitely lead to some confusion. Another drawback is actually one of the major discussion points I've heard since list was announced. Well, lists may offer templates called work progress tracker and issue tracker, uh, but they aren't task lists. Uh, in fact, the old school SharePoint task list is still much more feature rich. And that's one thing that will leave you wanting in what is really an effort to compete with, you know, Rike and Asana. Lists doesn't really do tasks. Uh, I mean, you can absolutely create a list of tasks and assign them to people, you know, provide due dates, start dates, uh, priority and the like, but you're not going to get connections to any of the Microsoft task apps like to do planner and tasks and teams. And you're not going to see any sort of Gantt chart associated with it. There's actually an FAQ from Microsoft covering the topic. Uh, it's a little long and uh, you can pause here and read it if, for yourself. What that says is basically do your tasks in a task app and do your lists in a list app. Uh, actually, if you're interested in a video on which tool to use when, you know, lists, to do, planner, uh, or tasks and teams, I'm curious to know the interest level. Uh, leave a comment below and maybe I'll do that video next. But minus the tasks aspects, the upgrade to lists finally gives me ammo when people ask me whether they should, you know, invest in some of these other lists and tracking apps. And I'd say not so fast. You know, you've got a perfectly capable, good, user-friendly, free app built into Office 365 that you should really check out first. Now you can try lists for yourself right now if your Office 365 tenant uh, is on targeted release. If you don't know what that means, you probably have to talk to an administrator for your organization. Uh, it should roll out to all users by the end of August 2020. Uh, if you take a look at the Microsoft 365 roadmap, you'll see there are a bunch of list related updates coming. That includes a mobile app that will bring lists to your pocket the way SharePoint app did for your intranet. Try out lists for yourself and let me know what you think by commenting below. Will you be using upgraded list experiences anytime soon? Anything I missed? Would love to hear it. So, hey, happy listing.